ребята, всем привет, меня вы знаете, я Игорь Гостюин, рядом со мной сидит Густаво Бадел и Джордж, Hi. владелец этого прекрасного места, этого шикарного зала. И сегодня я задам Густаво Баделу вопросы, которые вы мне написали в ВКонтакте и в Инстаграме. Давайте начинать. Окей. Okay. Hey, Густаво. Um, Tell us uh, where you're from and uh, um, how did you end uh, up in the USA? Um, well, I'm from Puerto Rico. I've been living in Puerto Rico most of my, my time, a lifetime. Um, I become professional winning Puerto Rico championship and the Caribbean championship overall. I live in the US since 1996. So I've been living in Las Vegas, now I live in Orlando. So that's why I started competing here in the U.S. after winning, you know, a Central American Championship overall, become IVB Pro a long time ago, 1996, and I started competing since then. Okay. And uh, why did you choose bodybuilding? Uh, bodybuilding, bodybuilding is, is a sport that, you know, they have a lot of, you know, um, challenge. And a challenge to get bigger, to be better, and it's just... It's not just lifting weights, it's just nutrition, it's supplementation, it's lifestyle. And uh, it's a challenge. It's for me, as I was a boxer and I started practicing, you know, lifting weights just to get strength. But I like the pump, I like the way your body changing and get bigger and get rounded and get stronger. So, uh, like, you know, everybody since I was a kid, we always like to have muscles, like a superhero. So bodybuilding is the most close things To, you know to be like superheroes so yeah. having muscles looking good winning shows i think is that all men all kids love to do that and uh, uh, what do you need uh, for a successful career in the pro league oh uh, pro league is bodybuilding pro league is it's the more you know the federation they have the biggest professional shows in us and the whole you know world And to be successful, you need to be really, really focused about being a professional bodybuilder. It's just you have to training every day. You have to, you know, um, be living a lifestyle, eating, nutrition all the time, supplementation, the resting is important too. To be successful, just make sure you listen to the judges, the criteria, what they're looking for in every contest. Bring the A game, bring your body to the best condition ever, as the judges, you know, what the judges ask, and you're going to be successful. You know, train hard and you never give up. I know sometimes you don't want to win, and when you lose, you realize you have to improve certain things in your body. So you never give up. Just keep working hard until you get there. Success, so make sure when you get success, it's because you've been in some part, somehow you've been failing. When you fail, you get up and you keep going, trying to improve, trying to be better. And that's, you know, I think that's the key of success. Okay. And um, you're aware of the top three twice at Olympia. And uh, why did you stop competing and uh, maybe plan to return on the stage? Yeah, I've been competing in Olympia seven times. I did third place 2004-2005. 2006 at the fifth place so I've been I've been living you know good 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 day a uh, good sport in the best way but uh, um, I stopped competing in 2010 I have a personal issues personal problems and uh, but definitely when you bodybuilder and you compete once you want to do it again so probably you know you're gonna see me competing in the next year or you know so it's soon because I want to do it again now My problem is solved. I'm, I'm still living right now in the U.S. I live in Orlando, Florida, and I'm training here in Iron Religion with Igor. And I think probably next year or this year, you're going to see more than me, you know, on stage. I don't know what class yet because I'm still weighing 100 kilos. But, you know, when you start preparation, I know when to get a little bit bigger. Let's see what happens. But, you know, definitely is a, is, is a, is a possibility. Okay. Let's say about um, bodybuilding of uh, 2000s and uh, how much uh, would it be expensive then? How much money was spent and what for? For the, uh, for, for the Miss Olympia to compete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Well, there's a lot of money. I mean, being a bodybuilder is a really expensive sport. You need to you need to have in, invest money on your body. You're eating. You need to eat a lot. You need to train. Take a lot of supplements. And how much money? I don't know. It's depend each person. But definitely, uh, to be a bodybuilder here and successful here in America, you need to have money. You need to have money. You need to have sponsor. You need to have people that can help you to uh, to work hard and to do everything you, you can do. But you know, definitely, it's, it's, it's expensive sport. How much? I don't know really, because as in my case, I, when I was competing on the Olympia, I have a uh, two bigger uh, sponsor. But I definitely. For each show, minimum is fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to compete. To use all the product that you gotta use, the supplementation, everything. It's a lot of money. But you know, like I said, we bodybuilders, we love this. And no matter what, how expensive the sport is, we keep practicing because we love this. Because it's really expensive, more than any other sport. But really, this is for people that get uh, trying to uh, build a career as a bodybuilder. People they want to do a bodybuilding like you know for for the beach, that's all the thing. But when you professional, you know, and I know we need to spend a lot of money yeah. on food, everything. And the thing is, it's not about the gym. The gym you work out two hours, four hours, but the rest of the day you gotta eat every two hours, every three hours. Take a supplement, taking product, taking everything to be at the level of the, those professionals in, in the whole world. Uh, what do you think about uh, free best supplements for bodybuilding? I think bodybuilding is, is missing one point. It's just before go to any other supplement, you need to go to foundations. Foundation is minimum vitamins. People, they don't use it no more. They think that as a pre-workout, post-workout. No, yeah, yeah. before go there, you need something basic. Vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin uh, C, uh, multivitamins, uh, omega-3, um, omega 369, Q, Q10, and zinc. There's supplement, the antioxidant that body needs in the morning and the nighttime, especially when you're bodybuilding, because those minerals and vitamins, they need to help to the receptors to absorb more food, supplements, product, everything. So you need, before you start using any other protein and any other pre-workout or creatine, you need to go first with the basics, vitamin and essential minerals. That's what I believe. And after that, protein, obvious protein, whey protein is really good. And creatine, oh, of course, everybody loves creatine and protein because, you know, when you get bigger, you can get stronger. And those two supplements are really mm -hmm. the most common supplement in the bodybuilding industry. ABCA. Those amino acids is different things. We're talking about the three most important at the beginning. At the beginning, you need at least one protein, one creatine, one vitamin, multivitamins in the morning, because those three are going to help you to achieve um, more size. Amino acids is when you more time in the sport and you need, you want to compete or you need to improve certain, you know, body parts. You increase a little bit of amino acid just to recovery, you know, to repair muscle fibers faster, so you can use it. But definitely. Uh, What's the most common supplement is vitamin in the morning, protein between meals, and creatine before and after workout. I think those three are the most common supplement used in, in the bodybuilding industry. Okay, and uh, go back to your career. Uh, how did you train at that time in the thousands? How, I, how did you train? I learned one thing. So first, in bodybuilding, you need to understand that everybody is different. Yeah. Every human body is different. You need to see yourself and be honest. And they said, okay, this, I have a strong muscles and I have a weak muscles. So we need to make sure those weak muscles, we're pushing and we put at the same level of the strong muscles. We need to build a perfect physique. And the only way to do that, the only way to improve those muscles, they weak, they need to train really intense. When you mean intense, heavy, and a good form, good technique, and applying different kind of principle for training. You can do superset, you can do descending reps, you can do multiple exercises. Why? Because you need to find the right way 
to improve those weak muscles. But you know, they definitely always, you gotta train heavy and hard and intensity and keep doing it every day and trying to keep training heavy because the only thing people don't understand, bodybuilding is not about doing a lot of repetitions. It's about doing a lot of heavy weights. It's the only thing that you can create muscle mass. When you do lightweight, you're gonna look good. But you're probably you're gonna keep it skin or, or you know not too big. When you go heavy and you train intense, you see the muscle look more dramatic. The hypertrophy is bigger. That's what we're looking for because we're professionals. Yeah. So professional bodybuilding contest, you bigger, you better. So make sure you bigger when you go on stage. Uh, and uh, how did you eat in that time? What's your uh, planning diet plan? Well, it's a, I never have a, a just unique plan. I always change it. Get the human body is so unpredictable that we can have just one diet and that only diet want to work for the whole prep. No, I do, what I do is every couple of weeks or every 10 days, I start a diet with one diet plan, one meal plan, and after 10 days, I see myself in picture or even my coach, or even when I work with my athletes because I'm a coach too. So what I see the picture, if I notice the diet plan, is not working well for these guys, we need to reevaluate and we need to change the diet. So what I'm trying to say is for the Olympia, probably in 16 weeks of preparation, I've been doing like five, seven different kind of diet for the Olympia, just looking for detailing, trying to prevent muscles, muscle loss, trying to keep it bigger, stimulating. So it's just, the thing is, if we need a little bit more carbs, we increase the carbs. If we need a little bit more fat, we increase the fat. Whatever we need, we need to play with the diet, the diet plan. It's not always one diet. I tell you, your body is depend how your body result, how your body is changing and adjustment. It's most important when we do any show. Miss Olympia is the most important show in the, in the whole world. If you're gonna compete there, make sure you need to be precisely when you change the diet, when you do everything you do, just make sure bring the A game on stage, bigger, better, harder, definition, dryness, everything at the same time. And to, to make sure that you can do that, make sure you need to adjustment the diet plan all the time. So there's not always one diet, it's many diet with the one preparation. It's just depend how your body respond for every, everything that you, you know, stimulate with different kind of diet. Okay. Uh, what about uh, cardio? Cardio, people think, people think cardio is not good. Cardio is not good because you lose size and you lose muscles. That's a lie. That's a lie. You have to do cardio. I've been in my time doing preparation for Miss Olympia, I've been doing one hour cardio twice a day. And people think, oh, you're gonna get skinny. No, if you train heavy, if eating enough, I mean, what I mean enough is just 2.5 to 3 grams of protein per body weight. It's just when we bodybuilders, we're eating a lot. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, if we train heavy, if we're eating enough, you don't want to lose size. Because you're doing cardio, you're going to get more definition, more dryness, without losing size. You're losing size if you train light. If you train heavy, you do a lot of reps, if you're eating enough, if you're taking a supplement, if you sleep, you don't want to lose size. The cardio, what's going to happen to you, get you harder, get you better. And that's the only way that you can get the best condition ever to go on stage to compete. So you got to do cardio. It's a lie that you, you no, you got to do cardio frequently, but you know, you understand that you need to keep eating to protect the muscles, don't lose the muscles. You keep training heavy, to prevent losing muscles. That's the only way you're gonna keep the muscle size and losing just fat, you're not doing cardio. Okay. Yeah, and um, uh, now I have a special question about uh, super supplements. And uh, people interested uh, of uh, legend and myths of uh, professional sport and pro bodybuilding. And uh, the question is, um, dosage of uh, testosterone and uh, our drugs in pro. Dosage of uh, testosterone 
to the offshore for Brogramon and maybe is IG of one. Okay, the thing is, people believe there's one secret for everybody. That's a lie. <laughs> That's not, doesn't exist. And nobody knows the dosages for everybody. Every human being is different. The most important thing is you need to understand testosterone is just you produce your own testosterone naturally. If you adding some testosterone, just depend how much testosterone you need. Because it's, if you're taking too much, you holding too much water, that's not good. Even you know you're trying to say, okay, more you're taking, bigger I am. No, that's not it's not how it works. Because testosterone doesn't mean you're gonna grow. Testosterone gonna increase the strength and you gonna train heavy, more heavy, just to keep in the size or you create size. But most testosterone you have, you can be more stronger. But once you're taking too much, you see your body is not reacting positive. Sometimes if you're taking too much testosterone, you fall down. Because sometimes, you know, there's different hormones in your body when you're taking too much testosterone without careful, sometimes shut down all the testosterone, all the hormones. So it's those, it depends. Nobody has the perfect dose for anybody. It's just you and your coach, you and your training, you need to check it out how much you need. It depends how your body responds. If your body responds good, you keep, you know, keep it up. If your body, you notice that you're taking too much and you notice you're holding too much water, you don't feel well, you feel, you know, like down, it's because you're taking too much. So too much is not the best. It's just whatever you need, but you need to try and to see how your body responds. That's, that's my question, that's my answer for that question. It's not just giving like three grams, two grams, no, no, no. It's just depend. You start using it and you start to see how your body responds. And then you increase. If you need to increase, you increase. But if you don't need to increase, you don't have to go high dose because you know, you're gonna hold in a lot of water. So at the end of the day, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of time, and your body's suffering a lot. So instead of doing high dose, it's a small dose, and just see what your coach, what your trainer, to see what's best, more convenient for you, and then, you know, you do it. Okay, this is testosterone, and uh, what about Drogarmon and uh, IGF-1? Yeah, because it's nobody knows. It's you're trying to do a combination to something that you don't know if it's gonna work for you. I see many guys that use GH and work good. I see many guys that said, I can't use GH because it's not good for me. And I know people that, you know, they use in Trembolone and they have a lot of problems with, you know, certain products. You know, it's not for everybody. It's not, you know, like I said, trying to say here, being smart, use common sense. Not too many people, they use in the same cycle. It's not because Ronnie Coma or Phil Heath or anybody, Marcos or whatever, they doing something, whatever they doing it, it gonna, you're gonna apply it to you. It's not necessarily gonna work for you. Probably you're taking some cycle, some other people, all the bodybuilding um, routine, all the bodybuilding cycle, whatever you're not taking, and you try to yourself and you don't see the same results. So don't waste your time. It's just go to the coach because sometimes the body need, you can help it with a little bit dose. I don't believe in high dose. Why I don't believe in high dose or anything? Because every steroid, every testosterone, they have androgenic effects. The androgenic effect is the bad thing. Yeah. And then we need to control the bad thing. You need to control the estrogen level. We need to control, you know, if you're aromatizing, if your body not responding, if you have a lot of, you know, problem with your system, you know, you feel different every time. So it's not necessarily they have a, the, the perfect dose for anything, no. The perfect combination, yes, because every steroid, they have more androgenic effect, they have low androgenic effect. What I suggest to the people is don't combine too much estrogen, too much steroids with high androgenic effect like Trembolone, like Anadrol. Those are too powerful. And after three, four, five weeks, they can destroy your system. So there's no product that you're gonna use all the time. Probably you're gonna use it two, three weeks and then cut it out because it's more, it's more damage that can cause to your body than progress. So that's why I believe that, you know, nobody has the perfect formula. It's just you and the coach, one-on-one. -on -one. What we're gonna do, we're gonna try something. 
we're gonna adjust them, whatever you need. If you don't need that much, we cut it out. We need a little bit more, we increase. But nobody has the perfect formula for everybody. It's just, that's why we need coach, we need training. Everybody, even myself, because I need to see myself all the time. It doesn't mean that you know, I have the own formula. No, I need to try my body to see how my body responds. Even you, you're competing. And, you know, probably you do a different diet, you probably you do a different coach, and you probably you, you see yourself much better because you change something different. That's what I'm trying to do with this. I've been learning my experience. I've been, I've been competing for many years. I've been losing many shows. But every time the losing shows, I get up, I see what happens. I'm looking for a coach because you need, everybody needs a coach. Everybody needs a trainer. Yeah. Because we don't want ourselves, it's really hard, it's difficult. But having a coach with you say, okay, you're using too much, you're holding too much water, you we need to do this. And you know, yeah, that's in that moment you feel comfortable, say, okay, I have to work hard, but I have to think about if I'm doing this, if I'm doing wrong, if I'm doing right, because I have a coach, you know, taking care of me. That's what we're doing in America. In America, everybody have coaches because coaches is the best extra two eyes. They can see you, you don't do it well, you do not do it right, you need to fix everything, whatever you need to do in order to look good on the show, to compete. Did you have coach too? Yeah, I always have coach. I, have, I worked with, uh, I worked with Chris Aciro, I worked with uh, um, Honey Rainbow, I worked with Chad Nichols, I worked with uh, Milos, I worked with many people. I mean, nobody know my body better than me, but those guys, they coaching you is just guiding you to the right way. Mm -hmm. That's why you coach, me as a coach asking for pictures, send me pictures. And when I see the picture, because we're starting a preparation, if I see the picture and you look that good, we need to do adjustment. And the, the thing is, when you bodybuild it, you know what I'm saying, you need to be on diet, you need to be doing cardio, you need to be focused about this. Having a coach, is the most incredible thing because you don't have to think about anything else. Yeah. You need to follow everything because mm -hmm. the coach is thinking for me about what I have to do. And because I sent the coach picture every 10 days, the, the coach can see and say, you know what, Igor, you need this, you need to improve this, we need to change the diet, we need to add in, you know, a cardio, we need to take it out, you know, this kind of product because holding water, we need to put an anti-estrogen, whatever you need to do, in this moment, the coach knows because based on how you look, and you don't have to think, that's a good thing having a coach. Having a coach is most important is to give you the right things to do because we need a planification. To do a contest, to compete in bodybuilding, men's physique, figure, any sport, you need plan. You need to have a diet plan. You need to have a supplementation plan. You need to have a training plan. You need to have everything is important. Even posing is important. Because yeah. right now we have different criteria. So most important here is having a coach just to bring you the, from the point one until go on stage to compete. Because make sure you're posing correctly. Make sure you deplete it and carving up properly. Make sure you paint your body. Make sure you do the right presentation. That's the coach. They need to see how, how you look and what you need. I think it's the best way to do it. Because the other way, people do it by themselves, and they're losing money, they're losing time, and they don't learn shit. And they don't see, pro they don't see progress sometimes. And they don't know what's going on because they don't know what they're doing. So people say, start doing diet, start taking steroids. It's not like this. You need to have a plan. Why I'm taking steroids? Why I'm gonna do this prep? When I'm gonna compete? How long I have to just to get ready for the show? Those things are very important. That's what I do. I'm coaching people, coaching pros and amateurs, and that's what I do. And everybody doing it at this point, the best competitor, everybody has a coach. Because you need to have a coach to detox, to clean that up, to everything, to posing, even to, you know, carving up, depleting, you know, the whole off-season, pre-contest. Everything is important, but, you know, it's too much for you. Because you need to work. Yeah. You need to train hard. You need to do your thing. So having a coach in your corner, you don't have to worry about anything else. It's just, okay, we don't look good, we adjust, man. We don't look good, we just, ah, oh, we look good, keep it up, keep it up, until we go to the show. We need a little bit more car, eat a more car. We need a little bit more direct, put a little direct. Adjustment, no, I wanted you harder, I wanted you bigger, I want you fuller. And sometimes people, they don't know how to do it. Yeah. They don't know how to do it. Because even yourself, you see yourself say, I don't know what to do. The day before the show, I don't know what to fucking do. I want to compete, I want to look good, but you know, 
other people, they don't have the same stress as you and seeing you and saying, okay, don't worry, I, need, I know what you need to do. Because you something, you always worry about what to do two days before the show, the day the show, the day in between the morning and the night time. You don't know what to do. And some coaches, okay, they don't know too much. There are many coaches, they're all good, but they don't have too many knowledge. I tell everybody, if you're gonna get coached, so make sure the coach you hire is a coach you've been doing something good in the sport. Don't hire people they don't do shit in the sport. They don't compete. I don't believe in those coaches. Fuck those <laughs> coaches. If you're gonna hire a coach, so make sure that coach being there where you wanna go. But uh, Honey Rambert, uh... Honey Rambert is a different story. But the guy, the guy he been trying with good people, with good competitors, with good condition. But I definitely, he been trying a lot. Now, when I, I met Hani a long time ago, it started with Phil He Basically, it was nobody until Phil He become professional. And Hani helped Phil to be Miss Olympia. But Hani, he helped many other competitors. They don't do shit. So Hani was perfect for Phil He and for all the athletes, but not to, uh, to everybody. Because probably you work, I work with Hani. I don't see any progress. I work with Chad Nichols. I was. I see progress. I work with Chris Aceto. I see progress. I mean, for me, I don't try to say the honey is not good. Honey is good, but I, it doesn't work for me. Probably yeah. it worked for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You know what uh, I'm saying? I mean, honey is my friend, and all those guys are my friends. But I said, okay, I I work with different coaches mm -hmm. in the whole my my comp my competition history. But no coaches know everything. Because yeah, yeah. most of them, they don't give me any training. They give me just dieting and supplementation and you know, the adjustment of the picture. But I train myself. Nobody give me a routine. I train myself. If you don't train hard, you're fucked up. You need to train hard. So there's something, it's not just the coach, they have to do everything. It's up to you. But not too many coaches not all coaches have the all secrets. No, you try, you learn. If it works for you, keep it that coach with you. If it doesn't work for you, change for anybody else. Nobody gotta get mad. Because I'm, I'm a, I have friends and many coaches, they're all my friends. But they respect, because I train different coaches to see how, you know, how they give it to me different things, different results. Yeah, yeah. And I've been doing that and it works, it works. And then, you know, like I said, is uh, not too many, no coaches, they have all answer for everybody, but you know, having a coach, giving an opportunity to have a plan, to organize your prep for any show, whatever you're gonna do, if we're gonna do supplementation, if we're gonna do diet, if we're gonna do product, and they give it more or less what you need to do, and the guidance, and the, you know, keep coaching to you to see how everything works for you, if it works, Okay, we keep it out. If it doesn't work, we take it out and we put something else. That's what we need to do as a coach. And having a plan is more difficult. Um, having a plan is more difficult than people they don't have a plan at all. Because there's a lot of people that train, they're doing everything, they're taking everything, but they don't see, they don't look good. Yeah. Do you see those guys on stage? They look big, they look massive, but they don't have detailing, they don't have conditioning, they don't have what the judges want. That's why in that moment they said, this guy have potential. You can have a nice potential, but probably, you know, bring an A game to your physique on point. Probably, you know, you don't see yourself yet. Probably you need to go to the novel level just to see yourself in better condition, size, bigger, rounded, just in order to win shows. Because you, you're right there. And now, you know what? It's funny. Because before I've been qualifying for the Olympia, I competed in 2000, 2001, 1999, and I didn't, I didn't place. Nobody remembered those years. I do. Because I competed, I did nothing. I did the last. And they said, wow, I was like this. I, I look massive. I have muscles. I train hard. And I live my life at bodybuilding. But I need a coach. Because a coach give me the, the, the guidelines. Give me that, 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 the rest, what he need, you know, those detailing, do this, do this, and then boom, everything else, get perfect, get together, get along, and you know, my body responding, and 
I qualify for the Olympia. What I'm trying to say is sometimes you need like this, yeah. just to make sure bring the body to that point. And because you want to do it by yourself, you don't know nothing else. You, you, it's not possible you expecting different results. How you going to expect different results? Keeping the same shit. So you need to change different. That's why you're hiring somebody else and say, okay, you know what? I want to try different people. I want to try different coaches. Because it's your options. You need to try to see who can help you to bring to that point. Yeah. That's what you want, to be competing in the Olympia and then more and more and more and more and to being Miss Olympia. Why not? Because we all want to be Miss Olympia. Yeah, uh, I'm, <clears throat> I, uh, my preparer is for uh, different coaches in Russia and uh, I work with uh, Chris Aceto one year, but uh, this, it doesn't work for me and uh, my condition is shit. <laughs> but uh, one year and uh, um, <clears throat> I think in Russian and um, in Russian Russian bodybuilders are very smart. Uh, we do analysis, blood tests, check, and uh, um, for healthy, for safety, for for life uh, after stage. And um, um, and our question is: uh, You see my picture, my condition in uh, different uh, contests, and what do you think uh, when uh, where are my condition is better in open category or classic category. what do you think well the thing is um, that's my opinion my humble opinion about you um you have pretty nice line your body is symmetrical and you have bring condition good condition you have good size but i believe because you high is six one and you gotta weigh because you have weight limitation you gotta weigh 230 on stage so probably you know you have too much limitation because you're too tall. Because I see you over 240, one picture, and I see you 230 in classic. You look good, but are you lacking, lacking of something? Probably the limitation, you limit the muscles. Probably you guy, you bad opportunity to be open. I mean, it's not because there's probably there's many guys bigger than you, but your body looks more symmetrical when it's fuller, but when you have limit weight, you go 230, you have a limitation, yeah. so your body lacking of carbs or lacking of fullness. Okay, yeah. If you don't have fullness, you look flat. Because flat is, is a fine line, between flat and fat. People think it's fat, no, it's flat because you need a little bit more carbs. But if you're giving more food to you to fill it up, yeah, yeah, yeah. you pass away you can't compete in classes so you're gonna be open so the only thing you know if your class is open bodybuilding or classic physique is because you've been competing classes and you're doing really well more or less but you're not winning yet so go open try one show and open go to 40 to 45 to see how your body looks it depends how you look how you feel and what the judges said to you you decide if I stay open and I get bigger or go to physique, to classic physique, and you have to, you know, stream down like 2.30. That's why, because sometimes you're suffering to have a 2.30. Okay. You're suffering to wait 2.30 for the show. Because, you know, I mean, in my, I'm not too tall. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm almost 5.9. And when I was like a week before the show, I weighed like 2.61. I'm on stage, I was competing 2.50. And I'm just fine eye. Just, you know, you taller than me. And I'm trying to say is you 230, 61, I think you have a limitations. Yeah. Because you have a big legs and you have a good structure. But if you fill it up more, probably your body gonna look much better. Yeah, body. Because you have waistlines. You have B shape. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to fill it up the muscle to look be better. You will look fuller, but you know, you have a limitation. And you look flat, you, you, huh, you weigh 230, but you know, probably those guys, they you know, probably the guy who beat you, he's 5'8 yeah. and 230, the same way you. <laughs> but it's 5'8, 6'1. In the same way, who's going to be bigger? The shorter one. So because you're tall, I think you need go okay. check, open class to see how it goes. 
And then whatever happens, whatever the result is, you decide to, you know, going back to classic or stay open. Okay, thank you, Augusto. And uh, um, now uh, I prepare to Ali County Pro in uh, October 20. And uh, October 20 is gonna be 10 weeks. Yeah. 10 weeks out. So, yeah. In uh, uh, that uh, in the in that week and uh, Thursday I start prepare to Ali County. And um, uh, what do you think? Uh, what uh, can I do with my, my body uh, when my condition is uh, best and, and our level level up? Well, first, because you've just finished a show, you need to detox. You need to clean that up the system because yeah. the now system. Now I'm clean my system and. Uh, well, we need to clean the system, but like I said, yeah. and you say it. I check my blood test yeah. to see how my liver, how my kidney, how my lungs, how everything all inside, just to make sure everything is okay. That's why you need to clean that up. The testosterone level, you need to stimulate your own testosterone to normalize before starting anything else. Yeah, yeah, I know about it. And uh, I check my blood uh, every third week. In Russia, it, it, very smart bodybuilders and uh, the price of uh, check blood is very low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just an, it's it is uh, um, for uh, 50, 50 analysis. Uh, price is uh, maybe uh, forty, maybe sixty dollars. That is good. But yeah. the thing is, if you have um, um, liver enzymes high, you need to wait until they go down. Yeah, I do. That's why you need to wow. detox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, that's the problem. You've been doing preparation for a show. For how long? 16 weeks, 18 weeks, 4 months, whatever. And then you pretend to do a detox for 5 days? No. no. You need to have a detox at least one month. Every day. Detox. Clean yeah, the system. But, uh, Clean. I don't have much time. I okay. Have two weeks. Well, but you know, the thing is, think <laughs> about this. Think about the being smart. You yeah. smart guy. Yeah. There's something we call receptors. The receptors, they, um, they need to um, filtering everything you eating, supplement, product, whatever you taking. The receptor make sure they absorbent and you know do yeah, the I work. Know about it. Okay, if you have a little bit, you know, liver enzymes high, if you have a little bit, you know, kidneys enzymes high, those are filters. If those filters, they're not working perfect, I don't care if it had just 10 weeks. It's just because the receptor is not good. Either way, you don't want to absorb everything you're going to do it now because you just finished one show. You need to clean that up everything helping to everything back to normal normal levels just to start taking more shit yeah uh, if you don't have all, enough time blood after and you need everybody. to rest you need to rest one month training dieting yes yeah. but you need to be off products yeah, yeah, yeah you don't want to take it you know you don't want to say okay because i don't have much time i don't care if you don't have much time you know what? The receptors are no good. The receptor, no matter what, you're gonna take in more things. It's, they don't wanna work well because they overtraining, they overdoing it. They are the, the the enzymes are high or whatever you know pro problems you can have because you've been training, you've been taking shit for so long for the shows. You need to be smart. That's why a coach make sure bring you to that level. Oh, let's clean that up. Let's detox. Make sure everything is okay, and then we start again. Yeah. You don't want to start again to see, okay, because I think yeah, we... Yeah, I understand. Just make sure, you just keep, because this is very important to you. Because right now, if your body is not responding well, if the liver is not working well, no matter how much you're taking, no matter how high the dose are, they don't want to work. Yeah, 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 I know about that's it. Most uh, of, I, that's a common mistake. People make that mistake always. Uh, I teach my followers for, for that, uh, for... Blood check, check blood and analysis. That's a good and, uh, thing. That's perfect. That's make sure you're healthy. And you're healthy, you keep it up. 
But if yeah. you check right now and you see the liver enzymes are a little bit high, you don't want to start again. You need to make sure those enzy liver enzymes go down, make sure it's normal to start again. That's why depend what you've been using for all this time until now, what you're going to use from now on. Because I don't want to use the same compound yeah. everything everything because it's good I don't want to use like people think oh, I'm gonna use this trembolone or mushroom because it's good or windsor and you're gonna take it all the time no no you need to cut it out you need to clean that up you need to detox you need to make sure you're normal again and then you start with something but you know that's why the coaching is being cycling the product the product is never gonna be the same if you're taking one product for 10 weeks probably you're gonna be a little bit you know uh, liver and science high so you need to change the products. Make sure if the product is really high androgenic, you need to cycling every three, four weeks. Cycling, change for everything, change for everything, until your body, you know, you are always body responding well. And uh, uh, what do you think about uh, difference on the diet, diet plan, or maybe two weeks uh, out of uh, uh, stage? Um, uh, maybe is uh, more. Carbon, maybe it's more sodium or what? Well, it's depend. That's why I said when you have a plan and you're doing a plan for nutrition, mm -hmm. supplement and everything, and you've been eating, if you, we've been eating um, carbs, potatoes and rice, and then we, two weeks on the show, sometimes people start eating other, other things like bread or burgers or, or even whatever, junk food. Sometimes that's not how the, the, the body responding well. Sometimes, sometimes works good. I've been, I've been training guys that a couple, couple days before the show, we put a little bit high calories, burgers, cake, whatever, and you, their body responds really well. And there's some people, they give you the same and they look like crap, they look bad. So sometimes I recommend people, if I don't, if I don't know your body, I have a lot of knowledge. I'm having a lot of experience, more than 20 years competing at the professional level, winning five pro shows, competing seven times for Olympia, seven times Arnold Classic. So I know that uh, the body, no, it's not necessary. You're always going to do the same formula and going to work the same. I mean, probably one guy works different, but uh, one thing is I'm 100% sure. If you've been eating a diet, that you look good. I mean, you're eating uh, potatoes, rice, uh, whatever, oatmeal, and then when you close to the show, you're gonna carve it up or you're gonna deplete it. When you carve it up, I recommend people carve it up with the same food that you've been eating in the whole prep. If you've been eating potato, been eating rice, been eating uh, oatmeal, pasta, whatever, I don't know what you've been eating. Yeah, clean food. Carve it up, carve up with the same food. Sometimes happens that it's good. Sometimes people they use in different different yeah, method, different way. People using insulin. Some people using creatine to carve up. Pe people using carve up just normally. And you know it's different. That's why I said everybody is different. And like I said, you work with Chris. Chris, it doesn't work for you. I mean, yeah. it's a good guy. He's trying to do well, but it doesn't work for your body. And you understand that everything is happy. You happy, Chris happy, everybody happy. You know, he trying to do his best. That's why. But you know, me a difference of any other people. I don't, I don't, I don't have problem with nobody, and I don't compete with nobody. I said to everybody, you right to train with everybody. You right to hire any coach. But most important thing is looking for what you need. Keep looking for what you need because sometimes if you got somebody and you, they don't help you, like you know, like happens to you, happens to me, we find different places, different, different people, different options, you know, where, we, where we, we can go, we can hide something different, we can try something different to see if my, our body resp respond. So the thing is, like I said, nobody has this, the perfect formula. Every, every, everybody's different. It's just, we need to try things and to find what you need to make sure that you can win shows and go to the Olympia. You have a lot of potential. You have a nice physique. And I think what you need a little bit is a little bit push or somebody they know that because people know you, people see you and they know you have potential, but nobody cares. Yeah. But you care. Yeah. 
So I say, okay, I know the way I train. I know the way I do bodybuilding. But they don't know how to help me. Because you know this, you find somebody who give you the right things to do, the right combination, and boom. And then they can see, okay, this guy, he got everything. Because you have a small waist. You have a good frame. You have tall, but you look good. You have a good legs. So what you need is the right knowledge just to bring you the body to the next level. That's what happened. And to do that, you need experience. You need being there because I know what you want, but not too many people understand what you want. Okay, not too many people being there competing with those guys. And the quality, the size, the symmetry, everything is important. The posing, the presentation, the carving up, the depleted, the detox after the show, what you're gonna do after. So make sure everything there goes back to normal. That's what we need. We need knowledge. Knowledge is going to bring you to the next level. That's why, you know, I, I, I said to you, get the right knowledge and you're going to do fine because you have pretty nice physique. You have a lot of muscles and you need the right formula to make sure do the right presentation. People can see who really are you. But what I see from my point, I see your limitation weight is killing you because you're too tall. 230, that's a fitness guy. You know that you can have more muscles. Yeah. And you know because you train hard and you have, okay, I don't want to, I can't eat like that because probably you're more hungry, you don't want to eat, probably you know you look bigger, but you need to weigh uh, limitations so you can go too high. Fuck that. So, few bodybuilders. Bodybuilders is about be bigger. Bodybuilder, con contraction of the body. Bigger you are, better you are. That's what happens. You have limitations. That's what happens to you. Because there's nothing wrong with you. I mean, your physique looks always imponent. In front of those guys, you look good. But you know, in one picture, you look better in the structure and everything. In the second picture, you need a little bit more deeper contest. Because that what happened, because you have look good, but you need a little bit more fill it up to push the muscle out. But uh, for my chest, I uh, a little bit flat, but if I eat some more carbs, my legs is uh, my legs uh, looks uh, bad. Yes, because the plan. Yeah. Because what happened is, from waistline to down is the legs. You have one kind of genetic. And waist up, you have another kind of oh, genetic. Yeah. To make sure those genetics are really similar, we need to work based on your legs. Because you say something. He said, if I fill it up my chest with more carbs, I feel my, my legs losing cut and losing condition. Yeah. That happened because you have a different body type. Legs and upper body, they have different genetics. So you have a plan to make sure those are good and match. This is not because I give me a little bit more carbs for fill it up the chest, your legs are gonna loosen it. No, because it's lack of condition. If you're taking carbs and the legs get bloated and get bloated and holding water, it's because you don't have a great condition. When you have good condition, no matter what, you keep it up, you keep it up, you carb it up, you're gonna get bigger. But you don't, you don't have to lose condition. Why? Why are you gonna lose condition if you've been eating potatoes, rice for a fucking whole four months? If you're eating a little bit more, you, you, know, you get swollen the legs because you don't have good condition. That condition is because you have good genetics. But when you don't have a good plan, <laughs> this is not easy. Yeah. Bodybuilding at this level is fucking hard. It's for yeah. men with balls, because it's difficult. This is pro level. But you can do it. Yeah. It's just like I said, this is what you, whatever you, what you say that's uh, eating a little bit more carb, but you know, I feel my legs suffering. It's the perfect example of you not doing good condition for the show. Because when you have in condition, that's not gonna happen. Because even I've been trained guys with big legs, legs always there. I can carve it up more and more and more and they get bigger, but the legs always tight because we got good condition. Good condition is not about trying to get condition with supplement or with product. No, it's dieting, training, cardio, day by day. And you see your body how being changing. The skin looks different. 
the muscle look harder, more plastic, everything. We need to find the right formula for you because that's the only way you can explore upper body and you can be bigger and you can be fuller and the people can see who really you are. Because you are a nice physique, but you lacking. You lacking. As you said, the because chest. A limit of if weight. your chest, that's why. But I, can, I can squat my weight uh, over 200 kilograms. I don't do this because my legs are grown up. And always, they're going to say to you, they're always going to say to you that you're too big to be classic. Yeah. Because your muscles are rounded, you're not skinny. You, you t your tendency is be big guy. If we improve the chest, put the chest forward, you're gonna look fantastic. I know it because back, your back shot, your back looks good. I mean, it's not huge, but it's good, it's decent. You have a nice physique. It's just you have to bring full it up, full, being full on stage and conditioning. Believe me, you look good. It's just bring the air condition, bring the condition that you need to. It's not about, uh, like I said, it's not about have a weight limitation and then yeah, I go to 30, but you don't wanna, you're never gonna look 100%. Because even you go to the Olympia, you qualify. How are you gonna be 100% you have weight limitation? You know 230, you have to take a lot of diuretics or whatever you're taking, just to get to 230. Because you're too heavy. And you know what happens? Probably your weight in contest is 245. But you go on to 230 because of the weight limitation. When you get 230, you've been losing here. When the limitation of weights make your upper body suffering. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because your leg keeping doing good. But here, when you start losing too much weight, going to 230, they, this is suffering. This is suffering. And that's why you look a little bit flat. That's why you look a little bit no 100% because it's you causing this with the weight limitation. But the, definitely, I said, classic is, is less complicated because the open is bigger. We don't care, go, go open, because you don't have to be with like Rolly Winkler. No, because your body type yeah. is much beautiful. You, your physique is more symmetrical. So don't play that game, play your own game. What is best for me? What is more convenient for my body? It's like Gustavo said, or I said, because you show me the pictures. And you say, I'm 6'1", and I gotta wait 230. It's a fuck, 230, you're too tall. I wait 220, I don't even train you. And you gotta go 230 with muscles? You're suffering a lot, your chest is suffering. That's why it happens to you, those things. Once you realize, Hey, let me go open this time and fill it up and go full to see how it goes with good condition to see how you respond, how your body is looking at you. Oh, fuck. It's going to be different. I know that people can be bigger, but if we bring great condition with your body type and really full, you can do well. That kid, you look good in Tampa. You, you, you didn't compete in Tampa? Yeah, I can't be in Tampa, <coughs> but uh, what I you did? Sure call out. No? Sure call out. You, they call you first call out. Third. Third? Yeah. So you D out of top six? Yeah, I'm out. Because conditioning? Conditioning is good, but uh, not not best, but condition is good. I I can show you a guy who um, goes third place in Tampa and... Uh, they looking for condition. This is... Um, I think it's political. No, well, this can be a politics. Okay. Can be politics, but no, it's just, I said, conditioning, they like, if he looks good, if he looks stunning, if he looks like, wow, they like to bring to the Olympia. But if yeah. not ready, he's not ready. Yeah, he's trying uh, to um, do classic, yeah. but he's too tall. Classic, too tall, he's gonna look weird. He need to lose muscles to weigh 230. He trained hard. He taking everything like supposed to. He doing the diet perfect. He doing cardio. But I probably he's 255. He need to go down yeah. 230 because the weight class. And when he does that shit, he losing size here. Yeah, yeah, no, 
his body, his upper body suffering. And he's looking like weird. His legs looks good, but the upper body is suffering. So that's why I said, think about being open one class, one show, and then we decide. And then you decide what's best. Because probably, you know, you can go, you can still do in classic, but you're gonna have the same problem. But what about if you gain a little bit of muscles in the chest and the shoulders and you look more dramatic and you look good? No, 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 no. We need to go down to the other. And you're gonna lose all everything you win, you, you, you gain. It. So what you gonna do? In the, uh, in the past, in my uh, contest, uh, I lose my back. Every time lose my back. Every time, every time. Happens to me. And this, this my, season, I lost my chest. What the fuck? Because, <laughs> because, 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 when you sacrificing, um, probably a week before, how much you weigh 10 days before the show? My weight is uh, 2 and... Uh, 250. Uh, 45. Well, 250. Yeah. You like me. A week before the show, you 250. And then you're going to dry it out with diuretics. Yeah. Uh, 20 pounds. When you lose 20 pounds in 10 days, you're going to lose muscles. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose condition. And you're going to lose quality. Yeah. So you're not going to look 100%. Never because it's too much. When I do contest, I weigh 258 to 60, I go down 10 pounds on dry it out with diuretics, not 20, not 15, not 16. You, that's your problem, buddy. Your problem, you're losing too much weight to compete in classic. And that's why you're suffering your back, suffering your upper body. I said your upper body, suffering. Not your legs, your upper body suffering. You can look bigger, better, harder and more defined competing 245 but you gotta go open i mean just just we're talking yeah yeah, yeah we're talking yeah, you use common sense you think it's if i'm talking right or if, if not because you know better than me that's mm -hmm. the way i see it is just you competing 230 mm -hmm. is you losing too much weight and that's why your body's suffering that's why the judges say, oh, whatever, say whatever. Because you look good. Yeah, and uh, in plastic physique is a limit of weight, and uh, I, I use a small dosage of uh, testosterone and, and our drugs, uh, because if I go in up dosage, I'm boom. Because your body need that shit. Yeah. Your body wants to be bigger, and you know, no, don't be bigger, be smaller. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, it's not what That's why you're losing chest, you're losing back, you're losing the, the muscles, the hardness that you feel. Oh, fuck, I feel my chest. No, you don't feel it. You feel empty because you go to 30. One side, uh, I'm going to Olympia, I'm gonna Olympia in, the, in the next year. Yeah, I, I, can, I can make it. But uh, my body say to me that Grow up, grow, 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 grow. That's grow. bodybuilding. But this is uh, um, my way is uh, in, in open class. My way is uh, longer, longer, and longer. In classic physique, I'm ready. One side, I'm ready in classic physique. Two side, second side is uh, a long way to open category. Well, it depends. What I'm trying to say to you is if you don't have to put restriction in your mind, you're going to do a contest and you're going to do preparation, training, dieting, cardio, everything, and you're ready for the show. And you want to look 100%, 100% good. So you got it ready, 100% good, but you weigh 245 and you look fantastic. In 245, you look fantastic. But when you deplete it, or when you lose weight, you don't look the same. And like, yeah, you're close to do classic. And you say, but the open is a long way. It depends. Because right now in Tampa, the guy who won, he, he competed 233. 
my friend. He won open bodybuilding. Good legs, not to talk. You see the guy. Yeah. Alexis. Yeah, yeah. He's not to talk. He weighed 233. Oh. And you weigh 230. But it's not classic. You don't have limitation. If you compete in classic, he need to go down to 215 to 20. He gonna lose his condition. That's what happens to you. I'm trying to tell you, you don't have to compete with Madhu, uh, Big Ramy. You don't have to compete with Madhu. You don't have to compete with Winkler. No, you have your body type. Bring a condition. Bring good shoulders. Bring good legs. Waistline like this. Why not? Like uh, Sean Roden. Sean yeah. Roden. Alexi weighed 230. Sergio Oliva Jr. weighed 230. They're not doing that. You see those guys why bigger than you? You see those guys much bigger than you? No. No, right? Because they're not bigger than you. Yeah. They have quality, but they weigh 230. Those two guys, first and second, they weigh 230. And he weighed 230 in classic. <laughs> you can. Yeah. You can go 245, 250, and compete with those guys. Because you have size to be with those guys. Oh. I don't think about it. <laughs> no, well, you need to pre think yeah. about that. Like I, I tell you, you said to me, my body, if I take in more dose, I feel like growing. Yeah. That's why your body wants to grow and you don't want it. But classic physique is more healthy. Fuck okay. that shit, it's the same <laughs> shit. It's more healthy, it's the same thing. What I mean is it's the healthy. You don't, you're gonna take the same thing, the same, the same diet, the same chicken, the yeah, same yeah. training, and they're saying a little bit less because classic, those people on classic, they know they can, give, they can be bigger. You can be bigger and you know that. You're telling me, my body responding big, but I, don't, I can't because I gotta compete in classic. You force your body to be small because your body wants to be big. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but you know, you're thinking about one thing. It's a classic, it's healthy, it's, it's the same shit. You have waistline like this. Your body is full, chest full, back full, legs are good. You can be a good contender for, you know, bodybuilding. Yeah, right now, because you did what you did for classic. Think about builder. Don't limitation. Train hard, eating good, get bigger, do the right things. Because the same way, you're taking product. To be healthy, you need to clean that up. Yeah. Bodybuilding, doing the same thing. I don't believe in high dose. A little bit. I don't believe it too. I believe in this constancy. Big constancy. I don't believe in high dose. I believe in good combination of products. Yeah. I don't believe in high dose. And taking like three grams of testosterone, that's too much. I don't believe in that. But for classic, yeah, they said that it's the same thing. It's just you have limitation. And most of those classic, they like this. They're not even fight, they're not even six foot. All classic, they small guys. Because they're trying, what good line, waistline like this, B shape, legs. But that's classic. Classic is bullshit. It's just the way posing. But it's the same bodybuilding. Just those guys, they don't, they can't be too big. But you got your body responding well. Your body, you know, wants, you know, I mean, I, the way I see it, I see your body want to get bigger. If you want to get bigger, so you let the body grow and to see how you look. I know you've been competing in the classic, but you know, see what happens if you do open. I mean, you go to Alicante, 10 weeks and you start competing, you start training, you start training hard. Now, after this show, you need you, how, how much you weigh now? Uh, Today, how, how much you weigh? How much weight? How much you weigh now? Okay. Uh, two and 50. Two and 50. And just two weeks ago was uh, the, the Tampa. You 20 pounds bigger. Yeah. Yeah. What about if you, in, you go, you keep growing, you keep eating, Normal, you start your diet and then you're 55, 55, 55, 55 until the week before the show. You're gonna do the same mistake because you can look good 10 days before the show. But then you're gonna dry it out with diuretics and you lose everything. 
and you're gonna have the same problem all over and over and over, and over because you're doing the same mistakes. Trying to do different things. I know open is hard, but you have two things to do. You need, you need to change the diet to make sure you fill it up for the day of the show because what happened is, it's that, that's why I see the pictures. When you compete, 230, you look a little bit flat on the chest. If you're flat, it's not good. You need to feel the muscle, you need to feel stations. Yeah, I don't feel it. No, you feel because you, you're flat. Yeah. And then you said, if you're eating more carbs, I sacrifice in my legs. So the, the condition is not good. The prep wasn't good. When the prep is good, everything had to look on time. I never see a guy losing condition because eating more carbs. No, it's because you don't have a good condition. I mean, your planification for your prep, wasn't good enough. Yeah, condition is very, very best, uh, but uh, I use diuretic and my condition lowers. What kind of diuretic you took? Uh, Verspiron, Spiral Naloctone or Triampur. But you, you know Triampur? Spiral Lactone? Yes. Spiral Naloctone uh, is my favorite. Is it the Adaltone? What? Is Adaltone the compound? Adaltone? Oh, I don't use it. I don't know. What is a pyrolactone? What can uh, come? Spironolactone, verospiron. What is combination? Is what compound? Uh, no, this is one, one, uh, one product, uh, spironolactone. But uh, another diuretic is Triampur. Uh, included three products, three diuretics. And Jerampur uh, is much uh, harder than Spironolactone. Because I probably you're taking too much diuretics. Because uh, I need weight. Yeah, you need to lose weight, but uh, that's why. But uh, at the same time, when you that's what happens when you when you using diuretics, you are taking water out of the muscles. Yeah, I know. No, but it's not the point. The point is taking water out of the skin. That's why when you fit, you weigh 250 and probably you have a eight, 10 pounds of water between muscle and skin, you dry it out that water. But if you dry it out that water, if you need to lose more weight and then you're going to dry it out oh, the muscles, muscles. Yeah. and then you look like shit. Yeah. So you got to do what you got to do, but it's really hard for you. I think about maybe uh, Maybe I'm going to do more cardio. Um, yes. In this, in this year, in this season, I do one hour cardio a day. Half one, and half? One, just one. At the moment. At the, at the moment. Uh, what kind of cardio? Uh, ellipse or uh, Stairmaster or uh, Elliptical. Stepper. Okay, okay. Only this because uh, many call rush on uh, one hour. When uh, we all drive for cycle yeah but you 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 yeah you can I, can I can do a lot of cardio I can do two hours uh, three hours four hours no 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 one time it doesn't matter uh, and uh, mm, I think if I do two hours split now to mm, uh, my weight is uh, not much bigger yeah, yeah, you can control, yeah, doing more cardio, yes. But either way, the problem is going to be to fill it up the muscles. Make sure the muscle is carved up to look good. I mean, but the thing is right now, what you're doing with diuretics is to losing weight because the weight class. Okay, I need to do my weight uh, before I start diuretic, yeah? You need to check your way. I need, I need to wait. It's just the thing is, when you, you know, it's just, what? well, you know what happened in bi open bodybuilding? If you're doing, if you're doing, if you're doing diuretics, because diuretics taking water out, but you don't drink water, you're taking diuretics, but you're eating a lot of carbs because you need to keep the balance because you're losing water, you just make sure 
keeping the muscle full with the carbs because if the muscle is empty, you look flat. Yeah. So the thing is, everything that I'm saying right now, it's good to do it, but there is, we have the same problem. Your problem is the weight class, yeah. that you have a limitation. Yes, you need to see if you're doing cardio twice a day, you train twice a day, we planning to do the diet and everything, you probably you can lose weight without sacrificing upper body because if you sacrifice legs, it's not a problem, but upper body is that's the problem. And even, you know, you're losing weight. When you're taking diuretics before the show, you're always gonna have the same problem. Everything when you're suffering, when you're taking water out, the muscle they're gonna suffer is the muscle you have less. The upper body comparison with the lower body, you have less. That's why when you do that and you go to the show, you feel I lose the back, you feel, you feel like you lose the, the chest, you feel the loose in the muscle, look the contractions, because you, you, you provoking this taking diuretics. But you have to take diuretics to make the weight class. That's why I tell you, it's a little bit con conflict. It's a little yeah. bit complicated. My, my advice to you, yes, you can increase the cardio to see how much you're eating of protein a day. If you're eating a 2.5, three grams per body two weight. Grams. Two grams, not even three. Three. three, three. 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 I was like, three is perfect. So you're taking three grams a day. How much you weigh? You're 150. 150 is going to be 115. 115 by, by three is almost 100, 450 uh, grams of carbs yeah. dividing six meals, right? That's what you're doing. Five or six meals. Five or six meals. So you're eating carbs enough just to be, a, you need protein enough to be a bodybuilder. So it's the only way, if you decrease the protein, if you decrease the carbs, you're gonna decrease the weight. But you know, the thing is, how come being a bodybuilder, I'm gonna tell you as a coach, oh, let's lose weight, let's sacrifice muscles, just in order to do the weight class. It's a little bit conflict. That's why I said, me as a coach, we need to see all the time. Check the picture, check the weight, check everything. And we discuss, because the thing is, were you going to have the same problem if you're doing the same thing? You need to talk to the coach and say, you know, we got to do different things. Because it doesn't work for me. Yeah, he know my, my, my coach know my problem. He knows my career here, uh, see my uh, condition in open. And uh, he like it more than classic physique. And uh, uh, for me, open category is, uh, is better for me, for me inside, uh, but uh, classic physique is uh, really, um, really a, a little, uh, a little thing, uh, a little way to Olympia, and uh, my dream is uh, going to stage to Olympia. I never see Olympia like a tourist, like a sportsman, uh, but uh, for me, Mr. Olympia, this contest is for competition for competitor and uh, um, <clears throat> plus physique do it for me uh, one show I win one show and go to Olympia this is uh, I can I can dream come true and next year and after uh, after <coughs> the show I'm gonna rise up and go up and uh, Okay, you said that you're going to try to qualify to go to the Olympia in Classic yeah. and after you compete in the Olympia, you go open. That's yeah. why, that's why, because you think you're close to the Olympia doing yeah, Classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, but you need to try different things, that's for sure. This 10 weeks out, you need to try different things because you're going to happen the same thing. Because every time you compete, yeah, everything every uh, time same, you compete, same yeah, the same mistake, but you know, but don't get me wrong. You're doing a preparation for compete. So what hap whatever happens, you did prep. You have a body compensation. It's just weight compensation. You have more muscle. Every time you do diet, every time you compete, you get more quality, you get bigger. Mm -hmm. So right now, we got a little bit problem because in 10 weeks, we need to be in 2.30. But we need to bring better condition. Yeah. Because what happened in, in, in Tampa, you don't look good. That's why you don't qualify. It's not because politics. It's because you don't look good. Yeah. 
Because politics is when you they give you tear and you deserve to win. That's politics. But when you you out of top six, it's because you don't go there. Yeah. I so, don't go there, though, but yeah. Yeah, and in order to win Alicante, you need to bring a condition, condition, stations all over, every in full, your checkbook tie, to make sure you can win. In practicing, you know, classic posing too. Since the yeah, way, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, it is, uh, it's uh, first contest uh, when a judge say me about my posing, and the next uh, contest, it's everything excellent. I know how it uh, look like classic posing. I like to uh, posing routine. I do really, uh, really show on a posing routine. I'm uh, very plastic and uh, I want to dance and uh, I dance in, in stage and uh, do show and uh, everybody says that my uh, posing routine is the best, best routine of the evening and uh, Mm. I know about this. Uh, this is uh, not a problem for me. Posing. Okay. Uh, problem for me is my condition, and uh, this is fucking limit weight. And how? Well, you need to refine the legs. Everything. If 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 you refine if I, the legs, if if, mm -hmm. if I if you refine the legs, you don't want to have problem. You know, it's gonna be easier the way. Refine means it's not it's not it's not smaller. It's just deeper. Go very conditioning because how how it uh, how it do? it's 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 not how it's the process. The process there's no process formally. The process is comes. I give you something. You show me something in six days. Adjustment. It's something new. In seven wait seven, seven days, I give you something, and then you show you okay, oh, and then okay. adjustment, adjustment. You gotta do that just with the coach. That's why I said I play a lot with the diet and with the training and with everything we're taking, because sometimes right now at this point you you smart, you wanna be an Olympia and classic, and then you become open because I yeah, know. because Olympia is uh, give me a name. Yeah, just once you go to the Olympia first time, then gonna explain to you the next year. Okay, he's coming up and it's coming better, good condition and everything. It's yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah. You know, you smart. Now, um, now I, I I understand to you. So uh, my opinion to you, your coach is just refine the legs. So make sure you find more the legs and more the the, the hamstring, the, the the abs. Just make sure you are a little bit, you know, losing a little bit size on the legs, but you go the cut is gonna be deeper. And they're gonna make you sure that you can go 230 and you can be full the chest. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. my problem to you is this and this when you dry it out. Yeah. And you know that's why I, I have a plan in different things. I, I plan it sometimes I, I, I carve it up with insulin, depends. Not too many people know the protocol. No people they don't take risk taking protocol with insulin. Because insulin makes you good. No makes you heavier, make sure the muscle look more full, faster. Because sometimes if you're taking diuretics, for example, your weight class, you need to check your weight. You compete Saturday and you check the weight and the registration is Thursday. Now you check 2.30 and then mommy, you go to the gym to carving up and that moment probably you can take insulin if you know the protocol. And you know, I guess see people doing that and then increase six, seven pounds to the upper body, stimulating a little bit workout, 20 minutes, and then put a little bit of insulin, whatever, you know, formula works and look big and look tight. Okay. But you know, it's, if a coach doesn't know this, it's the protocol, not too many people handle it. Because the insulin is a good thing, but if you don't, you don't know how to use it, it's the worst, you know? But I see people doing that because they make like a, like illusion, like a magic illusion in your physique. Because you weigh 230, but then we increase the carbs, go to the muscles fast. And the, the, the fastest transport to the, take glycogen to the muscles is insulin. But not too many people, they know how to use it or how to combine it. That's why I tell you, you like this, because you look good and your physique is beautiful. You just make sure you're the right point. Boom, everything straight. 
Like the picture you showed me, the chest looked like this, like this by 2.30. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ты будешь выкладывать его стероиды на канал? Ну что, не, что то что такое я не буду. Ну я все уже Густаву я все уже обсудил. Ну отлично. Thank you, Gustavo, very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. And what can you wish for Russian followers and Russian fans? Because in Russia you have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we you have my you have my I Instagram my. Yeah, yeah, I follow her. Yeah, in my Facebook and my thing. Put all all that info. You can people can if contact me. If anybody, uh, Igor uh, followers, my followers want you stay coach, text in your Instagram, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah yes, yes. Many people. They, I, I, I receive a lot of people. They, they text me from Russia and some Pete and woman guys. And uh, what can you wish for Russian sportsman? <laughs> what do you mean? Your wish what can you tell for Russian, by Russian? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, there's a lot of bodybuilders in fitness industry in Russia. I'm telling you guys, it's just, I see a lot of you guys with great physique, great opportunity. Just keep it up, you know. Um, bodybuilding and fitness it being, it's, a, it's a science, you know. It's more about knowledge, uh, nutrition, uh, training, supplementation, everything. So. Make sure you know get the, know the proper knowledge before doing it. I know there's a lot of potential guys over there. Just train hard. I like the, the Russian uh, style of training. You have a lot of you know old school training that I keep using it in my workout. And so the thing is, is a little bit more. You need a little bit more information about nutrition, how you do it, even training, how you do it, even supplementation, how you do it. And I know there's a lot of potential over there. So guys, I wish you all the best. Training hard. And you know, keep it up. And you know, it's important. You have a goal, achieve your goal. The only way to success is just do it. I know you're gonna fail sometimes, probably one time, twice, three times. No matter. You get up, clean the knees, keep it up. And the only, the only way you get that success, achieve those success, keep working hard. No matter what people saying to you, believe in yourself, train hard, and be the best. Окей, okay, ребята, на этом выпуск завершен. Вам желаю, как всегда, быть добрее, умнее, веселее и здоровее. Подписывайтесь на канал.